Our port redevelopment project uh, has concluded and um, we have built the $100 million port redevelopment. I signed off the completion of works document with the Chinese who were very anxious to, to get that done. That was the moment early Friday as port manager Darwin Telemac announced the completion of the three-year-long port redevelopment project. The official documents signed were with China Engineering Construction Corporation, or CCECC. The $90 million project has seen a major overhaul of the country's main seaport. We currently have the most uh, modern port environment uh, in, in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean. Uh, it may not be the largest, but in terms of the setup, we, you can see what we had and you can see what we now have. So we went from uh, that to this. And uh, you can see on the screen images of an excellent development. You see that we can do two ships at once. According to Telemark, the improvements have borne greater efficacy, which translates to cost savings for consumers. He notes the example of clearing vessels simultaneously. If you brought your fresh produce on, on seaboard one year ago and Tropical was working, that reefer container on seaboard would not get off until tomorrow because we would have to work until the wee hours of the morning to get it off the ship. And as of now, Monday morning at 9 o'clock, Tropical can come in. Monday morning at 9 o'clock, seaboard can be alongside. And they can both start at 9.30 discharging cargo, which is quite a transformational um, event. He also suggests the upgrades to include new administration buildings, new ramps, and better organized traffic flow could potentially see Antigua as a hub for transregional supply chains. We now have clear separation. That leads to a greater product, product that should lead to greater productivity and efficiencies. It should also lead to our port being considered one of the most competitive and versatile port in the region, which we hope allows us to attract significant activities. To mark the port's completion, a major ceremony will soon be planned. For ABS News, I'm Ursil Charles Jr.